Okay, so I'm gonna try and make a new goblin glider for my Marvel Legends Green Goblin figure. Now I'm using this base figure thing. I think it fits pretty well. So, let's go. Cool. Okay, so I've just painted this top bit black first layer. I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do the bottom and the top again. And all the insides bits. The technique that I'm going to use is called dry brush, where you paint it all uh, like a base layer, for me, black. And then you go over with a dry brush later, and it sort of, it just misses out the indentations, so it gives you a better look. You'll see what I mean when I've done it, but... So... Gonna do the second layer now. Okay, so I've done the base layer all black for the Goblin Glider. It's still uh, coloured on the inside a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but... Yeah, it's all black, all the details are in black. And next I'm going to do a silver or uh, grey kind of coating over this. So, yeah. Okay, so here's the example of what the uh, dry brush has done. All the black layer has sort of come through and that's all the detail and shit. Um, that looks pretty good, it's not too shiny or anything, but... I mean, it doesn't look half bad. Uh, so this is just the top layer I've done. Um, I'm gonna dry it out with a hair dryer and then do the bottom layer then come back and do some more of the top I think but um yeah it looks alright for now okay so I've done the base coat of it, it's all dry and everything the inside's still black and whatever uh, but everything else is all grey I want to try and make it look a bit more shiny so I'm going to add some white highlights and I'm going to try and add some more details first to the silver and then I'm going to work on the uh, like missiles and what not. Okay, I've added some white highlights to it, it just makes it look a bit shinier. I've also burnt it a bit to give it, I don't know, some kind of texture of some kind. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to colour in the eyes in black. With a uh, black marker. Then paint it green, and while the paint's still wet, I've got some green glitter shit. So going to sprinkle some of that on the eyes so let's do the mark a bit first so I change plan I'm going to paint the eyes black instead because I don't have any green paint and I can't be asked making it um, so I'm just going to paint in black and then put the glitter on it might look a bit better Okay. Okay, that looks pretty cool now. I like the look of that. Um, I've tested, I've hair dried it and shit, and I've dropped it all here, and uh, uh, all the glitter stuck on. I might try um, glue, put a layer of glue over it or something, so that, you know, it definitely won't fall off, because this is gonna bit getting knocked about and shit. Um, okay, so next step is all the little missiles and gadgets and whatnot. So here is the final thing ish, just minus the um, way of keeping the goblin on. Here's the final like paint design and shit. 
Um, it just went on with bread paint and there, and on the missile heads and there. Then on the bottom where all the screw bits are, just to make it look a bit more interesting, rather than having just rusty screws on it. Yeah, I'm really happy with this bit though, the eye, so I like that. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, still some bits I need to touch up, nothing important or anything. Just some bits where the paint's coming through, I can just go over in marker. Um, so I just think comparison with the size. Uh, that's the size we're looking at. So it fits pretty well, that's why I chose this base model thing. Um, so yeah, it's just sticking it on. I was looking at trying some way of getting pegs on there, but uh, too much bother. I had magnets suggested to me, I was thinking I could stick some magnet, like metal or something there. Then magnets there and there. Or um, I was looking into wire, but um, just for the meantime, until I actually get some little circular magnets or something. Um, I'm probably just going to use some kind of like blue tack or something. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll post a picture of comparison from before and after. And uh, stay tuned for other things of nature. Alrighty then.